Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy, and today we're going to be customizing this, the Declasser Impaler LX. So let's have a quick look at this thing on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto's website before we customize it. It costs nearly $1.5 million, so um, not the cheapest car in this DLC by a long shot. Uh, the Astro we customized in the last video was actually a lot cheaper, nearly a million dollars cheaper. Um, but it is this like cool classic muscle car. Um, if we go on here, you can read a little bit about it. You can pause this and read it if you want to. Um, but let's go ahead and take this thing up to the custom shop and see what kind of mods are available. And then we'll have a little bit of a drive in it and see what kind of performance it has. Right, so we've got all the usual stuff. We've got armor and brakes. We'll go Sometimes. and put all of that Don't on um, just so we can life. see what the performance is like when it's fully upgraded. Uh, let's start off with uh, bumper options here. So it has quite a lot of chrome. Like I said, it's an old muscle car. So I imagine there'll be options to remove some of that and paint it. So yeah, we can go for a primary stock bumper. We can go for a second secondary stock, which at the moment is like a grey colour. No um, we've got the chrome with reflectors on the front. So the stock one doesn't have any reflectors, this one does, which looks quite cool, I like that. Uh, we've got a primary version and a secondary version of that. We've got the Chrome Classic bumper. Oh, I see, so it sort of adds uh, like a little um, like black rubber line across it. we got a primary version of that and a secondary version of that, that looks quite cool. Uh, we got the classic bumper with splitter, so we can make it look a bit more sporty. We got a classic, uh, we got a primary version of that and a secondary version of that one as well. Um, I think I want to make this thing into kind of like a low rider. Do you need a drink? So I'm Bubbles actually digging the the like splitter. I don't know whether I want to go for a painted option though. Do I want to go for? like a primary painted that'll look quite good with a splitter Looks i think as good as you. we'll remove a little bit of that chrome i know low riders usually keep the chrome but i don't think it looks great on this car i think it actually looks better painted like that looks quite cool um the rear bumper we've got the stock one we've got a primary and a secondary version of that we've got the chrome ridged bumper we got a secondary, a primary, and a secondary Whatever version of that. Then we got the Chrome Technology Classic bumper. Adds those two like ram bars down the back. And we got primary, and secondary version of that. Then we can go for a spare tire as well. Um, hmm. I've never been a fan of spare tires like this on cars. I know low riders typically do have that as an option, but mm, not really a fan. I quite like the stock since we painted the front bumper i'm going to go ahead and it, paint the rear bumper do it. uh just primary uh right engine we'll go fully Got upgrade that. That, that actually does like increase the acceleration quite a lot to be honest uh right exhaust options we got the standard exhaust then we can go for um a chrome exhaust we got the chrome angled exhaust, kind of like the faction, I think, has that. Making and like other stressful. vehicles that have them angled out to the side. I am a big fan of them, to be honest. Uh, we can go for the twin exhaust on each side. That looks a little bit crazy, to be honest. We got titanium, oh, sorry, we got a chrome version of that. And then we got the titanium side exit, like a NASCAR kind of look. Uh, we've got a chrome version of that, and then we've got the large side dual exit exhaust, like large side pipes. Um, I think we're going to go for these ones, the angled exhaust. Now I that's quite like them. Kind of uh, grill options. Uh, we've got the standard grill. We've got the vertical grill. Oh, I was not expecting that. Okay. 
uh, we've got a primary version of that. That looks pretty cool. I do like that. We got a secondary version of that. We got the chrome horizontal grill. We got the primary horizontal grill, secondary version of that. Then we got the mesh grill. Think long and hard. This is very like 1980s. Um, we've got a primary mesh version. Actually makes it look a bit like an old Mercedes. We've got a secondary version of that, and then we've got the chrome vintage grill. Um, I, oh, I quite like this. I've got to be honest. I was going to go for a low rider build. I think now we're just going for like a muscle build. Life so, hard yeah. you can have who knows? When you slap parts on, sometimes you got to change your mind a bit. I like that it has that little bit of chrome still left. So it still looks old, but we've removed quite a lot of chrome, so it looks a bit more sporty. Hood options. we got stock hood. we got secondary hood. We've got a vented hood. That looks quite nice. It's kind of like the Glendale. Looks kind of similar to that. No rush we've got the secondary version of that. We can go for a Ram Air. Doesn't look like... I can't really tell very well with the black to be honest, um, but it adds like scoops. Um, I'll put it in secondary and then you can see a little bit better. Uh, we've got a cowl, we've got a secondary version of a cowl, then we've got a large cowl induction, and um, we've got, got a secondary garage? version of that. Then of course we've got all the blower options. We've got a dual filter blower, large filter blower, uh, the oval intake and the tri triple intake bug catcher. Um, I don't want to go for a supercharger, it just doesn't look right on something like this. So, um, I'd be tempted to go with like a Do cowl a one. Bubbles I think we might go for the primary something. cowl induction. That looks quite cool, it's kind of like a there retro muscle car kind of look. Since we've already got the splitter on the front. Uh, lights, so they're very like yellow, it's like an old muscle car, we can of course make them neon. You can go to the... Um, the other customization shops and change them into like red and whatever you want. Uh, livery options next, so uh, we can go for no livery. It does have a slight two tone, so that's interesting. The secondary color is actually the roof, so you can have a different roof color if whatever you want to have like a two tone. Technology We've got the white double stripes, just two white stripes over the car. We've got a gray version of those, which you can't see brilliantly. You can see them over the roof there. Uh, we got the two-tone patterns. That is just very odd. <laughs> I'm not sure what Rockstar were thinking with that. Um, we've got purple arachnid stripes. That's pretty cool. If, you if you're going for like it, a low rider build, I which it. I was going to, and then I've changed my mind. Um, yeah, some nice pinstriping. We got classic white pinstripe, or add some on the side as well. Again, if you're going for a low rider look, that'll look pretty cool. Um, more low ride deliveries, pink pure geometry, then we got a blue version of that, we got a green version of that, and then we got the purple anime stressful. geometry. So all kind of like low ridery builds, it is sort of a low ridery car. Um, I'm just going to leave it standard. We didn't go for a livery on the last car either. Not a huge fan of liveries sometimes, um, unless it's like a racing livery. Um, mirror options, so we got stock sort of like chrome mirrors, very generic looking. We can actually remove the mirrors altogether, which looks very odd. Um, we can add some round mirrors, some like bullet mirrors, which look quite good. We can go for a primary and a secondary version of those, which is nice. We got like square ones, which look a bit better on this car because it's like an 80s, it's a very square car. Um, we've got primary and secondary version of those. We've got like s round, s square rounded ones. They're called classic ones. We've got primary and secondary of those. We've got proper bullet mirrors, chrome vintage mirrors, primary and secondary of them. And that's your lot. So, um, I mean, these kind of look the best. Don't know whether I like these ones. They look a bit odd on this car. No, they look a bit not. too modern on this car because it's quite an old car. 
The bullet ones, because everything else on this car is kind of square. The bullet ones look a bit odd as well. Um, the stock ones I'm not really a fan of. I think we're just going to go with these. Uh, what colour do I want to do them? I think we'll just do them in chrome. Or do I want them body coloured? Hmm. Uh, no, we'll go How for many cars you got in this um, Plate options. If you didn't see it on the last car, we can actually get different uh, plates now. So there's Sprunk ones and there's E. Cola. So we've got like green and red number plates as well as all the normal ones, which is quite cool. Rear antennas. Um, we can go for no antenna. Oh, you can add like the old... This, this is like a thing in the 80s. If you had like a, a telephone in your car, you had to have one of these things on it. You may have seen these in like movies and stuff. So we can get a chrome one of them. We can get a primary one and a secondary one. I'm not going to go for it, but it is quite like nostalgia. That is quite cool, actually. Um, we'll come back to respray at the end. Um, there is actually an option to paint the interior, which is quite nice. Whatever you decide. Uh, roof option. So we got the stock roof is secondary colour. You can make it primary if you want it all to match. You can go for a carbon roof, and you can go for primary leather and secondary leather if you want like a vinyl roof kind of look. I'm just gonna do it primary. The secondary is quite cool, but I want to make it primary. Don't she look um, roof accessories next. So we can have stock roof. We can go for a roof rack. We got the luggage rack, so it's just a roof rack with some luggage on. We got a large luggage rack. We can go for roof bars. We got chrome luggage rack. We got we can go for a surfboard, and we can go for chrome rack with surfboard. If you can think it. Uh, not really a fan of any of these. They're all they, they don't really suit this kind of car because the kind of car you'd go. For the builds you go for with this are like muscle drag sort of look, which is what I'm doing, or you'd build it as a low rider, and you don't really have any of these on those two builds, in my opinion anyway. Um, so we're not going to go for those. Spoiler options next, so we can have a stock trunk lid, we can go for a little lip spoiler, we've got that in secondary as well, and plastic. Then we can go for a little bit bigger wing. Okay. We got that in secondary and plastic as well. Then we got the NASCAR like bolted style. We got that in uh, secondary and plastic as well. We got a bigger bolt on one in primary, secondary, and plastic. And that is all of them. Um, I'm going to go for this like slightly bigger wing. Not the bolt on one, and I'm going to do it in primary so it like looks a bit more fitting. We have got suspension options on this one, which we didn't on the previous car we customised on the new Astro GZ. We didn't have any suspension options on that, uh, so we can actually lower this thing quite a lot, which makes it look a lot better. So we'll go for full Battle lowering. Um, we'll slap on suspension. Uh, sorry, transmission trim options we can actually add some chrome strip set or we've got whoa we can go for like full chrome okay well we've removed most of the chrome off the car already so i'm going to leave it standard but it's nice that you can add it back in if you want to especially if you're going for a low rider build you might want a bit more chrome we'll slap a turbo okay. on it and now we need some like muscle wheels we're going to go for some chrome muscle wheels actually Oh, they look good on this car. Okay, we'll go for those. Um, and then we'll anything. tint it a little bit. And then I quite like it in black. I'm not going to lie, it does look pretty good in black. I'm going to have a look through the other colours, see if there's anything other colours that I fancy. So after looking through all the colours, I actually decided that I do quite like it just in um, primary, just in black because all the options I chose were primary as well, so it changes like all the grill into red. Like say if I was going for red, it changes everything to red and it's a bit too much, but in black, it looks quite good. So what I would have probably done is gone for a color and then had the secondary as black and maybe had all those as like accents and stuff. Uh, but I actually, I do like it just in black with the chrome wheels, a little bit of tint going on, again? looks quite good. 
So let's take this thing outside now, see what kind of performance it has. All right, here we go. We're outside. It always seems to be nighttime by the time I come out. This thing is rear wheel drive, for those of you who are wondering. It's like an old American muscle car. This thing has a lot more power. I can already feel it has more power than um, the Astro that we customized. Um, when you lower it, actually, it corners quite well. It drives very nice, this thing. It says taking a sign out. Um, but, I mean, it does oversteer. It's a muscle car. It has quite a bit of power. It's definitely not going to be the fastest muscle car. Um, but I like this thing a lot more than the Astro that we customised. Wasn't a huge fan of that thing. This thing actually has a little bit of power behind it. It pops flames as well. And it actually looks pretty cool. I do like it in black. It looks quite mean. It kind of looks like an old police car, like an undercover police car. Um, but let me know what you guys think of this car in the comment section. Do you like this? Do you want to buy it? Um, personally, I, I do quite like this thing. I am a big fan of classic muscle cars. It sounds quite good. It's got some decent customization as well. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comment section. If you did enjoy the video as well, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.